Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu äh, Monkey Island 2, The Chucks Revenge. Ja, ähm, wir sind immer noch auf Scab Island und wir haben im letzten Part die Ratte gefangen. Und wir haben den Eimer genommen und wir gehen jetzt einfach mal ähm, hier aus dem Dorf, denn wir brauchen natürlich irgendwas in dem Eimer. Okay, wir benutzen den Eimer mit dem Sumpf. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. Oh, mine. So, wir gucken hier noch Great mal, recipes ähm, from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body and something of the dead. Okay, was vom Faden? Was von Faden bedeutet äh, irgendwas Klamottenmäßiges, dann was vom Kopf, das haben wir schon. Ähm, nämlich das Toupet, dann ähm, haben wir die Spucke schon und dann brauchen wir noch was ähm, von dem Toten. Okay, so bevor wir das aber hier machen, gehen wir hier nochmal in das Fenster rein, in die Küche. Denn wir müssen den Job hier annehmen. Und dafür müssen wir diesen Koch hier vertreiben. Und das können wir, indem wir hier die Ratte benutzen. Okay, dann gehen wir mal nach draußen. Und besorgen uns den Job. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? Oh, gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soiz. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soiz, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. So, uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Okay, wir haben den Job, wir haben das Geld und ähm, wir können natürlich jetzt nicht einfach abhauen hier vorne raus. Wir gehen einfach wieder durchs Fenster. So, und damit haben wir Kohle verdient. So, jetzt müssen wir uns um die Sachen kümmern, damit wir ähm, die Voodoo-Puppe zusammenstellen können für Lago. Also die Spucke haben wir schon, wir haben das Toupet schon. Jetzt brauchen wir die Kleidung. Und die Kleidung bekommen wir, indem wir seem to stay closed. einfach den Eimer hier platzieren und uns die Runde verstecken. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. 
When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. So, dann gehen wir mal zu Matt Marty und gucken mal, was da los ist. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Okay, wir gehen zurück in Lagos Zimmer. Denn... Also normal hätten wir jetzt mit Mari noch schwätzen können, aber... Ich mache das jetzt ohne, denn wir brauchen einen Abholschein, um an die Klamotten zu kommen. Und den bekommen wir hier. Der hängt dezent hinter der Tür. Das hätte uns Marty dann gesagt, dass wir den Abholschein brauchen. Haben uns das Gespräch gespart. Das ist halt eben immer irgendwo ein Nachteil, wenn man so ein Point-and-Click eigentlich ziemlich gut auswendig kann. Dann äh, lässt man eigentlich viel aus, worauf man eigentlich, äh, ja, worauf man eigentlich kommen müsste, ähm, damit man überhaupt dann eine Sache findet oder so. Also, I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sunny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. Okay, mal achte jetzt mal ein bisschen auf die Klamotten. <laughs> now where was it? Ah, here it comes. Okay. Wir haben den BH von Lago bekommen. So, jetzt fehlt uns nur noch der Knochen. Und wo kriegt man natürlich den Knochen her? Na, vom Friedhof. Da gehen wir jetzt mal dezent hin. Und besorgen uns ein Knochen. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. The rickets. No trespassing. Stan's cozy crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Okay, diese Gruft müssen wir uns merken. Stan's cozy crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Stan's gemütliche Gruft. Den Namen kennen wir aus Monkey Island 1. Der gute Stan. Auch hier wird Stan auftauchen. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. The Grouts. No trespassing. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. The grave of the unknown pirate. The grave of the unknown cabin boy. The grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. 
These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. No man commanded Jean-Louis, not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. Ja, und da haben wir natürlich das Grab von dem Großvater von Largo. Und da buddeln wir jetzt This mal ein bisschen rum. Creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Okay. Wir haben den Knochen. Und jetzt haben wir alle Zutaten und deswegen gehen wir zu Voodoo Lady. Und dann soll die uns mal eine kleine, aber feine Voodoo-Puppe basteln. Von dem guten Lago. I don't want to pull it out of the water. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. <clears throat> About that voodoo doll. Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head. But maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandra flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Okay, wir sehen, wir haben nicht nur die Voodoo-Puppe, wir haben auch die Nadeln dazu bekommen. Und wir müssen ziemlich nah an Largo kommen. Probieren wir das mal ob wir ihn vertreiben können.
Hey, what are you doing in here? Sharp. Get out of my room and stay out. Okay. Da war ich zu langsam. Why are you following me around? I can't believe you're in here again. Sharp. Every time I turn around, you're there. Get out of here. Bye. Okay, ich raff's gerade nicht. Didn't I kick you out of here before? Ah, Every time I turn around, you're there. You have some nerve barging in here. I don't want to be that close to him. Get out of here. Oops. Okay, nee, so funktioniert es. Also ich muss irgendwie die Nadeln <lacht> mit der Puppe benutzen. Why can't you leave me alone? A man's room is his castle. It's little, mean-looking and ugly. Just like Largo. Alter, du sollst es benutzen, nicht betrachten, du... Get out of here. Sorry. Okay, nochmal. How dare you come in here again? Jetzt. Halleluja. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... Ow! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Okay, also. Wir haben einiges erfahren. Le Chuck kann wieder belebt werden. Aber Lago ist weg. Und das Embargo ist jetzt auch aufgehoben. Das heißt, wir können von Scap Island runter. Und können woanders hin. Dafür brauchen wir aber ein Schiff. Das müssen wir uns jetzt erstmal besorgen.
Okay, der Zimmermann ist noch da. Obwohl, ich glaube, Moment, ich glaube, ich muss noch mit dem quatschen und dann macht er einen Abgang. Ja. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Ja. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, ich war jetzt eigentlich fest davon überzeugt, dass der verschwindet. Vielleicht kommt das noch irgendwann später. How am I supposed to work? Oder Wally. Hi Wally. Who's there? Ich Woody. I can't see anything without my monocle. Hey, I did it. Largo the Grand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Dang. I'm such a dope. Okay, here we come the chef. Dann gehen wir mal hier runter. Hier sieht man ein kleines Schiff. Vielleicht gibt's da ja was. Natürlich gibt's da was. Wem mache ich hier was vor? Ich kann das Spiel auswendig, Mann. <lacht> ein Hausboot. Gucken wir uns erstmal das Schild an. It says, and I quote, Captain Dreads Ship Charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Okay, den Navigatorkopf, den kennen wir ja. Oh. Also es war ein Kumpel von Captain Dredd hier. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Okay. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Wir brauchen also einen Talisman. Ja, den haben wir schon im Inventar. Nämlich das ist das Monokel. Und das ist auch der Talisman für Captain Dredd. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for my lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Okay. Und damit sind wir in Part 2. Vier Kartenteile. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So... When are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? 
Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threakwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Okay. Wir sind auf dem Schiff. Welcome to the Jet. Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? Okay, wir sind auf der Jolly Rasta. Um, ich weiß nicht, was sind denn meine Möglichkeiten? Ich würde gerne einfach losziehen, um her ziellos umherschippern. I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Okay. Wunderbar. Also gut, wir haben hier Scab Island, wir haben hier Fat Island und wir haben hier Booty Island. Und ich würde mal sagen, wo gehen wir denn als erstes hin? Ich glaube, wir gehen erst nach Fat. Okay, Captain Dread hat es anscheinend nicht eilig. <lacht> Mach ein paar Umwege. Excuse me, Sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? Eh, uh, ne. No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Why, yes, I... Good heavens! My wallet's been stolen! Of course it has, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Well, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. Coming. Well, Mr... Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Oh? Why is that? I thought we might talk about a few things. Such as why there's a wanted poster on the wharf with my picture on it? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood. And that of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. 
Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no. Look, Chuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again. You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Okay, wir hocken im Knast auf Fat Island. Das war keine gute Idee, hierher zu kommen. Ja, eine Chuck hat äh, auf uns ein Kopfgeld äh, ausgeschrieben. Ganz geil. Und der fette Governor <lacht> hier auf Fat Island will das Kopfgeld einstreichen. Aber das werden wir zu verhindern wissen, auf jeden Fall. Aber das sehen wir im nächsten Part von Monkey Island 2. Eine Chuck's Revenge. Und damit mache ich einen Cut. Und dann sehen wir uns das nächste Mal. Bye, bye.